Hello, this is Father Lewis Skirty with another episode and a devastating topic associated with Maestro P. Filippini here at St. Joseph's by the Sea in Mantaloka, New Jersey. And that topic is Hurricane Sandy, October 29th, 2012. And Sister Brunilda and Sister Dolores were both here during that period and the excavations and renovations and remediation that followed. So... Let's go to it. Tell me what were the warning signs, first of all. What, what, what did you know or ha have information about <clears throat> what's coming down as far as the weather goes? Well, the information that was uh, given to us uh, on that day was through the news media. And we heard it on the radio. And at that time, I was giving, uh, on that Sunday, I was giving a retreat at San Alfonso's retreat house to 150 men. And at also, sister was here with um, a full house a full, of ladies. Oh, a full okay. house of ladies, Three twenty teams. yeah, twenty three. So um, when I heard the news, um, I told Father there, well, I need to get back to our retreat house, and I left there. It came here, and at that time, sister was she was here with the with the ladies, and. Um, they decided to have uh, a brunch that morning because it was getting cloudy out. There was no premonition that they kept saying a storm is coming, a storm. But they looked out at the ocean, and they wouldn't leave on Friday night because there was nothing. Oh. They looked out on Saturday, and it was a sunny day. They said, how could we be having a hurricane if we're sunning ourselves? Right. But on Sunday morning, it was quite eerie, and they were a little bit frightened, so... They hurried up. They made their beds. Uh, the kitchen crew served them their breakfast. They cleaned up, secured the house with me. Sister came back from St. Alphonsus, mm -hmm. and everybody left all at one time. Right. All right. Oh, so, in, in, including the two of you. Yes. So, so that was October 29th, 2012. 2012. Uh, everybody left, and I said to Sister Dolores, let's secure the whole house. All right, uh, we make sure everything was locked up. Mm -hmm. We took the Blessed Sacrament. We went to the convent, and I said, just take your important papers with you, whatever right. you need, and some mm -hmm. clothes. Mm -hmm. And the closest place that we can uh, go to would be San Alfonso's in case anything happens. So we did that, and we left. And by then, um, Governor Christie has said, you have to leave by 12 o'clock because all the bridges were going to be closed. Mm -hmm. So we, we were on our way mm -hmm. out. And then we went to San Alfonso's, and uh, we rode uh, the storm there uh, that evening. We saw the waves at San Alfonso's just so high, and it was so dark and eerie. And then um, we went to bed, and then the next morning we came to find out that um, the hurricane had passed through uh, the south to all over, as mm -hmm. I need to say. And we were watching the news the little we could watch. We had no electricity there at San Alfonso's either. Everything was shut. Gas stations were closed. Everything. So um, we tried to watch the news. And then later on, um, we got some information that we were allowed to come um, two weeks later. Two weeks later. They were still working on the bridge. Um, mm -hmm. And so before we can come over, we had to go over to uh, Brick, the VFW place, and they saw our IDs, and uh, we were online. It was it was so eerie and quiet. Everybody, some people were just crying, and because um, they didn't know what happened. No. Nobody and knew no what had happened here. Yeah. Um, and so uh, some people escorted us, um, a gentleman escorted us onto a bus because that's the only way we could get here. And as I was being escorted onto a bus, the only two things that came to my mind at that point were, you know, uh, what is most important in our lives? Mm. Uh, I thought about that. And the other was that um, at, the at the concentration camps, they were being escorted on trains we were getting escorted on a bus, and the difference was we were coming back, and they never came back. 
those two thoughts came to my yeah. mind. Yeah. So the priest loaned us uh, a suitcase <laughs> each and boots because boots. we had nothing. We had nothing with us. Mm-hmm. That's right. Who, who travels away? <clears throat> so they dropped us. Yeah, we came and they dropped us off halfway from here. Uh, but coming over the bridge, we saw the homes in the bay, the homes in the ocean. Uh, everything was gone. Uh, houses were all demolished, everything. The sand all over, but the homes and the smell. Oh, sure. oh my goodness. It was, it was so, it was terrible. It was so sad, so sad. And finally, they dropped us here, and um, a gentleman that was with us escorted us uh, to the convent and I opened the door to the convent and it was just the way we you left it. it. Oh uh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh. But I opened the door to the cellar and the water, everything was just floating oh. all over. So we have five feet of water in the cellar. So I just closed the door and I said to Sister Dolores, don't even bother looking. We closed the door to the convent and as we're walking here, the gentleman says, just wait out here. I have to make a path for you. Because I couldn't get in through the front door. Sand. Right. And all that was in the dining room was over here in the front of Five the retreat feet. house. Five feet. So you were walking mm-hmm. on your furniture. You were walking. Really? So he escorted uh, me in and I looked. I There were no words. You could not say. There were no words. You couldn't say anything. So I continued looking around. Everything was just all over the place. Oh, gosh. I went into the dining room, right, and I stood on top of the shutters and the sliding doors. Mm. And all they I were down. Mm-hmm. They were they, down. Everything was a it big was all hole. all open in the back. Oh. Because the ocean came The in. hole, it came right through. Right. And it was that the ocean didn't come right through, through the rooms, through the kitchen. Everything was destroyed. And I stood there, and we were leveled with the ocean. And the only words I could say, well, Lord, this is your house. It's our ministry. Mm-hmm. Please give us the grace and the courage to continue. Yes. Those are the only words I said. And with that, we tried to salvage whatever we could, which was very little mm-hmm. because everything was destroyed. Our office equipment, the chapel, the the kitchen had fish on the floor. <laughs> uh, everything was just, oh, the only thing that was still plugged in was the coffee pot. Oh. <laughs> thinking maybe they'll want some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's and, amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Prior to the accident and the hurricane, mm-hmm. you mentioned before that one of the sisters from Villa Walsh asked you a question about flood insurance. Could right. you tell us that story? Yes. Uh, about three months before that, Sister Betty Jean, our provincial, calls me and she says, Bruni, do we have flood insurance? And I'm thinking, well, maybe you do because sisters have been here for a long time. How many years? So, um, by the way. Uh, 38. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. 38. So um, I looked around again, and I brought whatever I could, and I brought it up to the mother house to her, and she looked. She says, no, Bernie, we don't have anything. So she decided to get on having inflammatory. insurance. Sure. This well, was right March. after that. March. Mm-hmm. March. And, and then right after that came Sandy. October. Divine providence. The Holy Spirit oh is my with goodness. You. Absolutely. Yes. Well, it's God's house. He wanted yeah, yeah, yeah. it. That's he it. wanted it That's here. It. It's our ministry and he wants it. And I know this not not just because of Sandy, but so many miracles have happened here. So many. Mm-hmm. And then um so we came right after that, we picked up whatever we needed, went back to San Alfonso's. I do not recall I remember sitting in the room and just looking at Sister Dolores. We couldn't even talk to each other. You couldn't. It was devastating. It was devastating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were like so stunned, you know. So today, I don't have sympathy when I hear on the news of uh, tornadoes, earthquakes, or, uh, you know, devastations that happen. I have sympathy because we know what it's like. You identify with them. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yeah. And after that, uh, we came here every single day. We would get in the car and say our prayers in the car, mm-hmm. our morning prayers, and then uh, we would come here and... The we roads would... were open? Yes. Eventually. Well, they had the guards all over the place. You had to show some ID. The Coast Guard, okay. Yes. Oh, they interesting. Were all over. Because they were already looting places. Mm-hmm. They were coming in by boat. 
Stop. No. Yes, by boat. So we had two policemen in the front, the back the of back. our house here, watching for our house here. Isn't that a disgrace? It was a, yeah. it was Isn't that a disgrace? So then we came back every single day. We traveled uh, for almost six months, back and forth. And we emptied the whole first floor out every day. We came to empty out in the cold and... Uh, you know, and then people came to help us. Some oh, of absolutely. the associates came to help right. us. Uh, we had people from the fellowship from AA that I knew, mm -hmm. men and women that came to help us. And we emptied and empty. And then we had um, to get our an insurance adjuster who came with us and stayed with us every single mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. That's he was great. wonderful. He was, was God really sent. What's, what insurance company? Remember? You know, I don't recall. Mm -hmm. No, I don't remember. Okay. No fan, yeah. That's good, though. God bless them. Um, Again, God bless that insurance yeah, company. Yes. That's right. I don't know if they were very happy that it happened so fast, but... <laughs> <laughs> insurance in because, March. Yeah. Uh -huh, and then <laughs> it yeah. hurt. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. That's, that's the business. So, oh, that's it was the, selective. I selective. think it's called okay. selective. You're right. Yes, You're selective. Right. Okay, right. so you give them a little plug. So, they did mm -hmm. good. <laughs> so, and yeah, we came every day, and then after everything was gutted, uh, I had a meeting with uh, all the people that were working here, construction worker, the electrician, the plumber, uh, and we all had a meeting. Now, this so, is where your street smarts came in. Um, okay, so tell us what so happened. So now we go into the convent, and I did bring donuts, uh, Dunkin' Donuts and coffee, and I put it on the side, and they all gather around the table, except for one gentleman who was ready to eat a donut, and I said, not yet. <laughs> 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 and then they sat around the table, we and we prayed, and I had gotten St. Joseph medals because he was a carpenter. Absolutely, absolutely. And <laughs> after the prayer, after the prayer, um, I passed the medals around. They were so happy. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Right. And then I said to each of them, now, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And what are you doing? And then you must communicate to each other, and I will be here every day. <laughs> So and you were so, the foreman. <laughs> and then they said, Sister, what's your target date? And I said, let me see. I would like it by maybe uh, June, July the latest to be completed. Yes, said, yes. Okay, sister. <laughs> that is great. And, but they didn't know they couldn't. And so um, they worked. Everybody was working. It took four months for the electricity because everything is underneath. Mm -hmm. And that was filled with sand. Oh, my. And, um, we had one uh, gentleman that wanted $22,000 to take the sand away to uh, clear the sand. And I said to him, I might be desperate, but not that desperate. <laughs> um, and then we found somebody for 4000 He He came to us. We didn't even go mm -hmm. look. Isn't that $4,000, okay. mm -hmm. yes. And so uh, then began the work. And every day... A sister and I would go shopping for things that we needed. Right. Uh, people were so good to us. We had yeah, so many were. miracles happen here, so many blessings, uh, donations that came, people calling to make sure that we were okay, it's people right. crying and calling and saying, the retreat house is still there. Oh, my yeah. gosh, they were so happy. It's still there, they would say. Yes. Oh, my goodness. But you know? we had sound pilings. Mm -hmm. If we didn't have sound pilings, right. we would not be here. Right. You know, we're on a sound foundation, so mm -hmm. they said go ahead and build. Isn't that amazing? And you didn't know that when you... No, no. We didn't know that. Did you mm -hmm. purchase the house originally? The order purchased the house, or it was, was it built? It was there built. Was nothing here. Mm -hmm. There was nothing here. Oh, so it so thirty eight years ago. Mm -hmm. It was just a little ha the convent, which looked not even what it was, but it right. was someone's home. And then this was land all the way down to the. Yeah, it was all oh, sand. Oh, was all so sand. We built. That's and it, it was purchased on the Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Yes. July. Yes. July 16th. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very Feast of Mount Carmel. Good. It was purchased. And so we continued our journey, you know, um, because we said, this is God's house, Lord, yeah. you know, and we want to continue your ministry. This is a ministry where people come here soul searching, That's right. trying to find God, trying to find peace, and trying to bring that peace, also forgiveness to others yes. after they leave here. Mm -hmm. and, and the ministry continues. Everybody that enters comes so distorted. Uh, many come angry, so upset. 
and they leave here so peaceful. Mm. And that's what, you know, our ministry is here mm -hmm. at St. Joseph by the Sea, and we love our ministry here. That is and, like the, the gift of peace. Yes. So, so, from, so from a disaster mm -hmm. comes peace. Absolutely. Yes, we also received our top hats, our yellow top oh. hats. Well, we have top hats. <laughs> yes, oh, nice. He sent them to us. Mm -hmm. And on With it... Our name the governor or the, or the... No, the insurance, insurance adjuster. adjuster. Yeah. adjuster. <laughs> our top hats have a little cross in the front. The hard hats. Our name's hard hats. Yeah. <laughs> and, fish. and they have uh, a fish on the side and our names on one side. <laughs> So we're covered in all areas. <laughs> so yeah, have a sense of humor. We're in yeah. construction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in we construction. construction. And his finger, mm -hmm. th this finger right yeah. here, can do a this lot one. of construction. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you, mm -hmm. what are you doing? What are you... <laughs> and so, you know, and I've learned, I've learned yeah, so I've learned much. much. I mean, and we don't have a handyman around here. You see we us. Do yeah. We do everything. Yeah, we really? really? Do it, uh, we wow. do all the... And we've learned a lot. Um, <laughs> So every time they would put something up, I would say to them, would you put that up in your house, oh, you know, good, to make good, sure, good. is this is this good piece? Is that good? All right. Okay. They try to cut mm -hmm. corners because they want to do half a wall. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. And uh, the assessor happened to be next to me. He said, what are you doing? And he said, well, we're just cutting half. The water didn't get up there. Right, right. He said, the entire wall comes down. They didn't like that too much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then another time, they were working with the chapel, and I told him where to put the tabernacle. Right. But he didn't put the tabernacle in the center. He put the tabernacle over on the left. So when I came in, it was a hole. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm putting the hole over here. I said, no, it goes <laughs> over here. He said, but you're not the boss. Ooh. I said, call your boss up. He <laughs> happened to know the contractor. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he called Michael up, and they said, do whatever the sisters tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I think the guy could have killed me. <laughs> Very humbling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even when they were doing the sheetrock, you know, I would say, sure. okay, we had to, you know, investigate what kind of sheetrock. It had to be fireproof, you yes. know, yes. Uh, fire prevention and all that. And um, the <laughs> thickness. And then I would say, okay, you're putting it in between rooms. I don't want people to hear each other. Right, right. Uh, is this good to put up? And right. uh, we in would check all insulation, everything. Insulation, right. everything, everything. Uh, we learned. We you became out. contractors. We, we sure did. did. For God's house. But mm -hmm. we were always here. Yes. So every day. Oh, they love seeing mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Every day we were but here. Was, but it was, yeah. you had to do that sure. or you wouldn't have the house. Sure, yeah, sure. I was nice, too. I would bring goodies. <laughs> I bet See, you would. Feed hospitality them, Hospitality right? is always Hospice, there. You gotta feed. In the midst of uh, and devastation, there was hospitality, so. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so we would bring him donuts and coffee, you know. I Sometimes I treat him to pizza. Hospitality you is always it. there. <laughs> feed them, feed them. Yeah. This is wonderful. <laughs> We've had several wonderful experiences with these interviews, and I really, really appreciate the the whole order from Saint Santa Lucia to the two of you. Thank you very much. The ministry of the Maestro P. Filippini is important. And if you're interested in more about the Filippinis, I'll put the site on our our site and take a ride to Villa Wash. Come down mm -hmm. here. There's always hospitality. La Porteo Aperto. Mm -hmm. The door is always open. And they're right by the sea, between the sea and the bay. This has been Father Louis Skirty with two very dear friends, Sister Dolores Bianchi and Sister Brunilda Ramos from Hudson County and Harlem, Jersey City. And we thank you for joining us and we thank you for continuing the word. God bless and send this on to your family and friends. God bless you. Well, this was some interview. You like that, huh? Ooh. That's good.